up so now I could actually play two different instruments and record those it's DJ Case UK in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how MIDI set up in Acid Pro two places that you need to find on your computer I use the device manager so that I can right click and scan for hardware changes um, I make sure that all of the, the things that I've got plugged in like my launch 49 keyboard and my oxygen keyboard is showing here in the sound video in game controllers section some or sometimes it might show in the universal bus serial controllers see so again you can scan for hardware changes you can right click on these and update the drivers um, so you want to make sure that you've updated the drivers you want to make sure that all of this is is showing fine and okay go into the app data folder on your computer so you go onto your usually on your C drive then you click users then your username and then app data local and then Sony and if you delete these two files out here that will basically just sort of put acid back to how it was when it was first installed any changes that you make in acid pro get saved into this into these two folders so if you have tried to install a keyboard and then you've unplugged it and it stopped working and, and you've checked all this kind of stuff usually what you need to do is 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 reset acid um, so that when you restart it it will refresh it as if it was new and then that way you'll you get it to work I mean I've had problems where um, the oxygen keyboard that was that that was basically because it only works in one USB socket and this one the reason why this one um, had to be updated is because I found out you could get um, software for it it's called um, it's called auto maps server and allow me to customize each door set up on the computer for example massive um, I would select massive on this list and then I would be able to have a control set up for massive on on this this keyboard it is personal preference but if you do want to set it up in that way it, it, you do need to find a keyboard that has got this kind of software where you can set the controls to, to, to work in inside your door um, um, a lot of the, in fact, a lot of the keyboards now they're kind of only really built to work with Ableton. Like as soon as you've got Ableton, um, the the a lot of the the features will work in in Ableton. Most controllers, you're only going to be expecting to use the keyboard in Acid Pro. Don't be expecting to use a lot of these dials and and controls unless you have got something like the Novation Launch Key 49, where you can actually program it to control different doors and different um, VST instruments if that is something you want to do so then if you just go into acid pro um, go into your preferences options and then preferences go to MIDI and you want to make sure all of these are ticked so these are all need to be shown as uh, on and then when you put in a, in a MIDI track you basically need to tell the the track to use the, the keyboard um, the default is auto so it should in theory play something um, that's something that you will notice with these keyboards actually and that is that this keyboard on the left uh, the Novation uh, launch key 49 this one is velocity sensitive so when I touch it it really depends how loud I, how hard I press it uh, how much of the the note comes on there whereas this keyboard oxygen keyboard no matter how hard I press it I get a full consistent note there um, so depending on what kind of 
recording I'm doing, um, I, I, I switch between these two different keyboards. If I want something a bit more natural sounding, I use the Novation. And if I just want it to be very precise, I'll use the Oxygen 2. Let's, so let's say then you've got two instruments in Acid Pro. So I've got Massive on this one, and then I've got maybe a Serum. So on the left here, I can assign, click on this button here, the MIDI input, uh, and just select which keyboard you want it to be. So let's say I want this one to be the launch key. So I select the launch key for that one. And then this one, I want it to be the on the oxygen. So Serum's on the launch key. Massive is on the, the oxygen. So now when I press uh, the keyboards, I've got Serum on this side. And I've got Massive on this side. And um, you can just see the levels on Massive here, look. So there's Massive going on the right. And then on the left, we've got Serum going. So now I could actually play two different instruments and maybe record those. Um, so I could arm these for record by pressing uh, the red button on the track list, then hitting the record button down in the in the main section, and putting in some notes. Just as easy as that. So yeah, that's it. Quick tutorial. This is just to show you how I get MIDI controllers working in ASIPO. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on this video. It's just a quick video to show you what you need to be doing to get um, the MIDI uh, working on your ASIPO. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.